might be able to tackle that. Uh, as far as the first, where do you go to join? Uh, we have meetings uh, every Saturday. Uh, we start our meetings for the public. It's open to the public from uh, from two to four, and it's located at 553 East 75th Street, which is right there by St. Lawrence. East Side. Okay, <laughs> it's a place called the Love Foundation. Okay. Um, another way to join is to call the hotline. Is it okay if I say that? Yes, yes, uh, sir. 773-469-7866. So those are the two ways to join, joining the party, if you don't know anybody who's in it. As far as uh, the infiltrators, <laughs> well, fundamental yes. difference that I didn't go over earlier when you asked me that, the difference between a party. Excuse me. I'm sure there's agents that are listening. Yeah. Looking at television. television. Yeah. <laughs> well, go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry, brother, for interrupting. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you like this. In the '60s, there were small attempts to set up a, a counter spy, to counter the spies that infiltrate the party. It was an attempt to do it, but it was, it was small. It never really got off the ground. Well, now. The party has, uh, that's why well, I'm uh, Minister of Intelligence. So, I mean, the party, we have, you know, we have knowledge uh, on uh, on that. I'm, I'm not going to get too deep into it. that. I'm not going to get too deep into that. But I'll just say uh, the spies that's in there, um, you know, they, they they will be found out if they not already, haven't already been found out, you know. Um, one of the one of the best weapons, uh, Ho Chi Minh said, one of the best weapons can be a, a spy that doesn't know that you know he's a spy. Because so. I think um, what I read is, uh, I mean, Hoover used to be, uh, he sent people in the different black organizations to disrupt black mm -hmm. organizations. Like Uncle Tom's, mm -hmm. Pecklewood, mm -hmm. <laughs> where <that> fix? <laughs> um... This is to either one of you. Uh, the old, the old Panther Party uh, had, a, in the very least, uh, communist socialist tendencies. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the political philosophy of the new Black Panther Party? How it differs from the old? Well, as far as the uh, the communist socialism, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, with Huey Huey P. Newton, uh, PP upon the brother, Huey. When they started uh, selling the Red Book, the quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong wow. led the revolution in China. Um, it was more of a fundraiser type of thing. The party was not a communist party. The Black Panther Party was not a communist party. We were not a socialist party. What the party believed in was something called revolutionary intercommunalism, okay? Uh, Huey has studied many revolutions and revolutionary movements, okay? But even Huey understood, uh, be, hadn't st studied with white left. Huey even understood that what the white left was offer offering is cannot solely be applied to our movement. Even Mao Zedong said that it couldn't. Uh, what he uh, had cannot be applied to uh, our movement. Only you can only take principles of this. Okay, the philosophy of the party today. We still do believe that everyone has the right to live free and bread and housing. Mm -hmm. These are rights and good health. Okay, which uh, capitalists under capitalism. You cannot have, you know. Uh, under capitalism, says that you, if you have a, a serious ailment, if you got AIDS, yeah. So what if we had a cure for AIDS, something that they made, you know? So what if we had a cure? We want you to die, you know. I believe it's a cure right now that the FDA doesn't want to approve, if I'm correct, because it it uh, it only works for blacks and Asians, okay? Oh yeah. Right. And right. so I guess they say that's not good enough. All of the people they can cure. Why? Because they don't want to cure us. Doctors, the whole medical profession, all of these control. things. Get into the workings of the ideology of the Black Panther Party. A lot of those uh, 
critics critics that we have they think that the black panther party the new black panther party we just a bunch of buffoons who don't have an understanding yes, of sir. political education you had a white left and recognizing our culture which we did in the party in the past all throughout our uh, community infiltrating our community a lot of get government funding and some are directly uh programs operations by uh these different government agencies uh I, the ideology of the party is like i said freedom justice and equality we today we believe in but uh, in, we believe in recognizing our culture to the point where where we uh one of the things we follow is the nguzo saba you know principles uh, and we believe in mayat which is not a religious thing. Mayat is true justice and righteousness, uh, which is universal.